All right, y'all, what's going on, man? We had some breaking news at the top of the hour. NCAA is making changes to the structure of the transfer portal windows. They are decreasing it from 30 days winter portal to 20 and a spring window of 15 to 10. We've already seen a number of name brand athletes already hitting the transfer portal and uh, hitting it mid-season and uh, walking away from these programs, which is crazy, right? We never thought that this would happen in college football, but obviously with the rule changes, the NIL, transfer portal, and all that, and all the changes, Hey, now we're starting to see it right now. And obviously, uh, NCAA Division One Council voted for that today to shorten that that uh, um, portal uh, for these players, man. And it's going to impact a lot of players, well, not at just football level, but also basketball. All right, let's take a deeper dive here, as you guys can see right here. So in college football, athletes will have a 20-day window in the winter and 10 days in the spring. Uh, for the current year, those days will be December 9th to the 28th. And April 16th to the 25th, as you guys can see. So this is around signing day, um, not too far. It's in that window, that threshold. So they can enter in then. That is kind of the signal of the end of the season. As you obviously have postseason play as well. April 16th through the 15th, that's kind of around that um, that spring that spring football window, right? Spring games and things like that. So that makes a lot of sense as well. And in all sports, an additional 30-day notification of transfer window will continue We'll continue for student athletes the day after the departure the head coach is announced. All right, now in terms of basketball, the portal will open in the second round of the NCAA tournament and will conclude before the end of April. Athletes will be given a 30-day window to transfer after a coach's departure. All right, so there you go right there. That's how it's going to affect, obviously, uh, football and basketball. This is per Pete Nakos of 0-3, so shout out to him for this information. So it is big time, um, you know, and it... it it kind of to a degree, I don't want to say it punishes athletes, but you got definitely got to know what you're doing. And I would say best, make sure you have something set up. Don't be just hitting the transfer portal or hit it. You know what I'm saying? I know obviously you got tampering and things like that, but you definitely got to make the best decision for you, but definitely calculate everything and make sure that it makes sense. Because once you do, that's it. And you don't, you're not getting a long window. You're getting a month and then it's a, it's a done deal. So I would say for athletes, if you ever considering and thinking about it, like think about programs that, fits you fits that can, that has schemes that can fit you for football right has plays and things that can fit you for basketball right so don't just hit the portals to hit it because it might not be working out okay sometimes that first year it's going to be tough see it out see how it goes and then after a while if you're like okay man this is not for me you know what i'm saying obviously like i said make the best decision for you but also think about the repercussions of it of that decision and make sure that you go into the right program and the right coach that you can believe in and that fits your game the best that's the key thing i want to say here go to a program that fits your game the best um because if you don't you could be in this transfer portal in and out not have a program to go to and you could be struggling um with finding the team and finding a home for yourself right and then you just set yourself back years now after making this type of decision so i think with it shortening you definitely got to make sure you lock in definitely got to make sure you know what team that you kind of uh going to you committing to um that you're going to kind of spend the next few years of your life because like i said this college thing y'all this is a lifetime decision man so make sure it's bright for you make sure it's best for you and make sure you think about every single angle every parameter you covering all these bases you're dotting your t's you're crossing your eyes you know or you're dotting your t's you're crossing your eyes and doing all the stuff that you need to do i think that's the biggest thing i gained from this for these kids man so make the best decision for you but make sure that it makes the most sense